If you are looking to embrace your natural curls and want to learn the basics, then you have come to right place. In this video, I will give you an overview guide to kickstart your journey towards healthy and beautiful curls. Today, in this video, I will cover these points. Starting a curly hair journey could be very overwhelming as well as confusing. It's a journey of self-discovery, patience and learning to love and accept ourselves just the way we are. In this video, I am breaking down all the essential steps, products and routines so that you can start your journey without getting confused. Number one, understand your hair. So there are basically three types of textured hair which are categorized as wavy, curly and coily. Within wavy, you will see 2A, 2B and 2C and within curly, you will see 3A, 3B, 3C. Same, in coily as well, you will see 4A, 4B, 4C. So as the curl texture goes more curl or more coily or more wavy, it will go towards 2C, 3C or 4C. So in wavy hair, the hair texture is more like S shape. In curly, you will see it is between S shape and between going spiral. And within coily, you will see the hair is properly coiled. Knowing your curl type can help you to decide what products you need to use. Wavy hair usually loves leave-in cream and sometimes light hold gel. If you have curly hair then you can try with leave-in cream or even with gel. And if you are coily hair then your hair will love strong hold gel, cream and sometimes mousse. When you decide to transition your natural hair, you will likely face common challenges. One of the most biggest ones are dealing with damaged hair caused by heat stylings or heat tools because of which your hair might be facing too much of dryness, frizziness or even breakage. Another one is product buildup. This one could take months to clear your hair or even your scalp. Too much of product buildup can actually damage your volume, texture and even pattern of your curls. That's the reason texture hair always lacks water and moisture. So our aim is to keep it as much as hydrated and try to lock in all the moisture. And also stay away from all the products which takes away the moisture and water from your hair. Second one is products that you would need to start your curly hair journey. Here I'm just mentioning those products which as per my experience are essential to start your curly hair journey. Obviously if you have already started your curly hair journey and it's been like one year or two years, you can add more and more products. But if you are a complete beginner then you can start with these ones only. Number one, clarifying shampoo. Number two, gentle cleansing shampoo. Number three, detangling conditioner. Number four, only two stylers to start with. Number five, scalp scrubber. And number six would be your hair mask. As I mentioned, that product buildup could be one of the biggest challenges that you might be facing in your transitioning period. So here, washing your hair and scalp with the clarifying shampoo at least once a month will help with your product buildup issue. This is important because if you are starting your curly hair journey, the new products that you are introducing to your routine will only work on clean scalp and clean hair, which means if your hair is free from all the product buildup and your curl will enhance. Remember to use your clarifying shampoo only once a month. Or even you can do it twice but using more than that can dry your hair and strip off all the natural oil that your scalp needs to have causing too much of dryness and even frizziness some of my recommended products for clarifying shampoo are these once you have clarified your scalp and hair now it's time to just do a gentle wash with your gentle cleanser followed by your detangling conditioner with the help of conditioner, you will get rid of all the knots and detangle your hair and comb your hair this time after applying your detangling conditioner. It will be easy for you to solve the knots without breakage. Remember, do not apply conditioner on your scalp because it will cause product buildup. And once you are done with washing your hair and detangling, rinse all the product from your hair with the cold water. After conditioning, it's time to style your hair with your choice of styler. You can start your styling routine with only one styler, but if you want more, then go for two styler. Do not go more than two because it will then confuse you. And also as a beginner, if you stick to only two styler, you will able to learn about your hair and you will get to know like how your hair is reacting to what product. 
if you introduce too much of products at once your hair will be confused and also you will be confused because you do not know what is going good for your hair and what is reacting bad remember less is always more while styling your hair do not be afraid to add water while styling always emulsify your product before you apply on your hair do not directly put products on your hair and always apply styler on wet hair not on dry hair here i'll quickly go through my routine so that you have a good idea how you need to start you take very little product and mix it with the water in your hands before you apply on your hair apply in raking or claw method to all over your hair it will help the product to reach all over your hair and almost all strands if you want to try with the two stylers i would suggest to do cream and gel only and always start with the cream and second should be your gel styler an application of stylers would be same so the same way you applied your cream you will apply the gel you will take a little amount of the gel mix on your hand and then apply on your hair in a claw or a raking method in the last to finish up your styling you will take a little bit of gel and water mix in your hand again but now this time instead of applying in raking method you will apply in praying hand method which means your hair should be in between of your both hands this will minimize the frizz once you have applied all the product now it's time to enhance the texture of your hair by squishing which looks and sounds like this The more you listen to this sound it means it is having enough of the product and water and while doing this step do not add any more product instead add just water and if you do not hear this sound then you are not doing right you need to add more water to hear this sound properly and then let your hair dry once your hair is completely dry your hair will look something like this which will be looking like it's very thin and you have very strong cast which you can actually feel it's not soft so that's called as cast that is created because you have used these stylers like gel which are meant to give strong cast to your hair do not touch your hair in between do not try to scrunch or break the cast if it's already wet so wait until it dries 100% completely then take a very light oil and scrunch out the crunch also called as sotc which actually means to break the cast and after applying oil and doing scrunching like this you will have beautiful results like this now comes our third point importance of hydration and moisture as i mentioned earlier that our hair is dry in nature it needs to be hydrated more so what steps we can take to give it more moisture and keep it hydrated deep conditioning deep conditioning is the step that as a beginner i would recommend you to do every week because gives that extra moisture to hair to keep it healthy and bouncy hair mask with hydration or moisturizations are the ones that you need to opt for here are my recommendation for some products which you can choose as a curly hair beginner Establishing hair care routine is very important to keep your hair healthy. This can include everything from how often you wash your hair to how you style your hair or even how you take care of your curls on a daily basis. The key is to find a routine that works for you. Don't be afraid to experiment and try new things. Even if someone has not done, do not be afraid to try. Maybe you can try and let us know. because it's all part of the journey embracing your natural texture is about more than just hair it's about self confidence and acceptance as i started to learn and accept my hair i realized that it was a reflection of my own self worth the more i loved my hair the more i loved myself it's a powerful feeling and one that i wish for every single one of you so if you're just starting on your natural hair journey don't be discouraged if it takes time to figure out things Keep going, keep loving and most importantly keep loving yourself. 
I hope this video will help you in starting your curly hair journey and it will give you a little bit of idea what you need to expect and what will be your routine if you start your curly hair journey. And if you are confused on the products, what to use, I have given some recommendation. Just take a screenshot and start with those simple products. Do not make your curly hair routine very confusing at the very start because if you are confused, you will not follow that. So make it very simple. But if you want me to do the proper hair styling in detail, let me know in the comments. I will come back with a very easy, very simple curly hair routine, especially for beginners. So I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you liked it. And come back next week for more such videos. Until then, bye!